will not give your mouth sex appeal. The revolution will not get rid of the nub. The revolution will not make you look five pounds thinner because the revolution will not be televised, brother. Scott Heron was 21 when he released The Revolution Will Not Be Televised, a phrase which has since entered the language. His uncompromising message has not been without its cost over the years. Has it maybe hampered your career, do you think? It's, it's, it's possible. This, 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 may, this may do my career a great deal of damage. <laughs> may not do me a lot good either. <laughs> but at least I didn't see you. Not yet. I'm but you've right. never been found yourself or heard of yourself being put on a blacklist, for instance, or some record executive saying, you Nobody know... Nobody ever shows you the blacklist. No, but I mean, <laughs> you might have heard about it. Yeah, yeah, that guy, you know, that black guy, he's on our list. <laughs> heard of that. Uh, yeah, we were uh, not able to, 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 to play here anywhere that we wanted to, or, or our records were, were taken off the shelves for quite a while. But um, since I had most of them, I wasn't trying to buy them anyway. <laughs> now, let me be serious. Uh, yeah, we, we, we've had some, some, some uh, unhappy moments for what we chose to say. But, but you see, the, the Bill of Rights and the things that you pay for with your taxes constantly come, come up to be things that you have to challenge to make sure that they're still there. And, and, and if the right of free speech is truly what it's supposed to be, that anything you say is all right. Gil Scott Heron's music has been unusually far-sighted, and his songs about substance abuse have turned out to be horribly prescient of his own terrible decline. See that black boy over there running scared? This old man in the bottom. Well, now, he doesn't quit his nine to five. He's sick full time. Now he's hanging to the bottom. His song about alcoholism was based on meeting people at his local liquor store who'd fallen on hard times. And I got so curious, I had to go out there and sit down and talk to them. And an, an exposition who had been uh, who had been dumped because he, he, he was he was caught performing abortions. Uh, Helping young girls along. A school teacher, a school teacher who who, who had somehow juggled her grades to to get somebody else promoted that shouldn't have been uh, an air traffic controller who had made a mistake while he was on duty and, and, and run this flight into, into a mountain. Uh, he, he had two Navy jets on his screen and gave the wrong instructions to one of them. He never got over it. Well, left, left, left his office that day and never went back. These were, these, these were not people whose ambition had been to be an alcoholic. They could have gotten into that career much earlier. There are different kinds of folks out there who get lost that way, and we shouldn't be so judgmental about it. And you were one of those people, I guess. I mean, you've, you've, you've had your own well-documented problems. In yeah, I, I got caught with $20 worth of stuff and did a year and a half. Uh, I don't think that that turned me into Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Did that period affect your, your music, do you think, the way you saw life? No, I'm saying I still had some of the same songs that people wanted. To. People didn't ask me, well, why don't you play us something from your period when you were in jail? Well, I didn't have a piano. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I didn't write anything. I didn't write any music then. I wrote, some, I wrote some poems and some different things because that's what I do. But you're not always on your way to the studio or on your way no, home I from it. No, I understand that. <laughs> so, so anyone who thinks that you, you had a serious problem and you were in denial about it, has got it wrong. Well, if I was in denial about it, I woke up every day in jail, I couldn't deny where I was. <laughs> you might deny some shit when you're on the street and not in jail. I don't have a problem. <laughs> but I'm saying, when you wake up and you're in the joint, <laughs> not only do you have a problem, you have a problem with admitting that you have a problem. <laughs> Long ago, the clock washed midnight away, bringing the dawn, bringing the dawn, God, I must be dreaming. Time Rumors of a new Gil Scott Heron album have circulated for a decade or more. Now it's here, or very nearly, thanks to a producer from London. When I was sitting there drinking beer and trying to start another letter to you, don't know how many times I didn't write again last night. 
Well, he was in jail when, when we first met, and the thing that was unusual about that was he... Well, A, the jail. Yeah. His, his spirit and his outlook struck me as very intact, despite the circumstances. Where did you? Where did you? I was obviously finding the surroundings quite intimidating, and I think that was possibly, possibly amusing him slightly. It's a different voice that he's got now. It's so powerful, and you're hearing so much experience and so much stuff that's gone on, that to me it's at least as good as his old voice. A British publisher has reissued Scott Heron's novels, and a memoir is in the works. What we're going to see is kind of what we saw happening with Johnny Cash in the last few years of his life. Now, I say that, I hope Gil's going to give it, live a lot longer than a, a few more years. But um, I think creatively he's in the best place that I he's been in since I've known him, and that's 20 years. You can't name where I ain't been down. Ain't no place I ain't been down. Down, but not out. And don't go pinning too much of that pioneer stuff on Gil Scott Heron either. He's looking forward. You're crazy with that kind of thing. It means you're looking ahead, not behind you. And that, that's, what, that's what most people are. They're behind me. They came behind me, and if they're following me, good. I can't turn around and see how many people are following me in my footsteps or just following me with a stick in their hands. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look back, something may be gaining on you. <laughs> the wonderfully lovely Gil Scott Heron. Now, tomorrow in another edition of our 